website. Please welcome a returning guest to tickle our palates and show us how to make dishes as well, Chef Tom. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you this for is me. really mean because it smells really good and I have to pay attention. Let's uh, tell people a little bit about yourself for people who haven't seen you before. Well, you know, um, I'm a chef. I've been cooking for about 25 years. I've worked six years in Asia, uh, six years in Europe. I worked in Asia. I worked in Mexico. I'm an East Coast guy originally. I've been out in California for four years. Um, my most recent endeavor is my cooking show, Culinary Secret Chef Tom, at cheftom.com. And uh, we are just starting our second season now. And it's a popular internet show. What you're doing is you're making food accessible to people. Absolutely. And you don't have to tune in a certain time. You can watch it all the time. Can you go ahead and start preparing what you sure. brought today? So what I have here is some focaccia, and I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil on top of this. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is uh, take some of our prosciutto. This is a Italian ham. Put uh, that down there. And the idea is that these are recipes that people can make at home. Oh, Sometimes yeah. with things that they have at home, and it's not hard to do. Sure. Well, some of it's a little bit different, but this right here is smoked mozzarella, and I actually smoked this mozzarella yesterday, and actually made the mozzarella. So I put a couple of slices. How do you make mozzarella? Oh man, that's like a <laughs> three-hour process, and uh, it's kind of it's quite tricky. That's actually not that hard, but you know it's it takes a little time to get used but to. But you have to go to the website to see. The recipe is there. Yeah, right. that's one of the shows I have in there. So now I have the prosciutto. I have my cheese, I have my tomatoes, I have the basil, and all this is uh, farm fresh right now. And what I want to do that is just put the top on this guy and put it in the your grill. grill you know. And through the magic of TV, we, we have, have. It's such a pretty sandwich. And you know, sandwich. it's so spring like, and that's the thing is to cook what's in season. Oh, absolutely. That's a, a no brainer right there. Mm -hmm. And put a little bit of these chips Did on there. Did you make those? I made everything right here. Wow. So. Here you go. Here's some chips and uh, That's beautiful. here's your lunch. Okay, I think this is for our, our Paco and our sound booth. <laughs> now, I do want to ask you, you know, with the popularity of cooking shows, have you seen people actually coming to your website who are already foodies or self-proclaimed? Or how do they find you? Oh, man. You know, I have no idea, but they <laughs> do. I've got like over 350 people a day uh, just on my website alone, and 500 people watch my videos uh, a day, so it's kind of hard to figure out how they're doing it, but they're finding me and emails from all over the world, so it's, it's wow. pretty unique. And what is it that you want to emphasize in the coming weeks or months? Because you have to keep it fresh um, for people to keep coming back. You know, fresh local ingredients, you know, now is a great time to get out to the farmer's market and see what's out there and go cook with it. Don't be afraid of it. Try it. If you mess it up, it's okay. It's just food. It'll be mm -hmm. fine. One of the things is this is a simple sandwich, but you're using, a, it's almost like you're using some regular traditional ingredients and then a couple special items to, to give it a bit more flair. Is that your style or your technique? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, everything here is really basic. Uh, you know, this is kind of a little more unique, but I'm sure you can find this in any of your cheese shops if you don't want to go try and make it your own because it is kind of a little bit lengthy, but it's quicker to buy it. And you said you have kids? How do, you, do they eat food like this, or does it have to be straight up plain? <laughs> My son, at uh, two years old, he was 37 inches tall and 50 pounds. So he eats everything. I call him the tank. <laughs> and my daughter, she helps. Every time I cook, my daughter's in, they're both in the kitchen with me. Okay, and they have, are they, do they appear in your videos? Not yet. Not yet. All right, thank you. We'll have to get them an agent. Thank sure. you so much for coming thank and letting you. people know about uh, your education of culinary issues and recipes. This is a great resource for people like me. <laughs> thank you. Let's tell people.